When do you, uh, do you have any recollection when preseason stats started being a thing? Um, I don't know, but it is, um, almost, when did practice stats start being a thing? <laughs> I don't um, know. Yeah, right. It, I don't know. It sounds uh, like my buddy. He went to the preseason to to... sometimes, but the practice ones are what really get me. Yeah, those ones. It was like my buddy. He used to go to the park and play pickup ball, and he goes, "Yeah, I was five for eight today." I'm like, well, "What are you talking about? You're five for eight? You're at the park. <laughs> Stop. Got a triple care. double. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't care what you did at the yeah. park. Like, <laughs> did like a charge too, oh. right? Yeah. Oh I'll just man. Do that. Uh, along oh. that vein, uh, Brock Purdy. 10 interceptions, whatever, I don't care. But I was thinking about this yesterday. Do you want guys to push it a little bit, maybe more during camp and preseason so they know what they can do? Like, I'm, my thought would be that the interception you throw in camp can help you save that interception during the regular season because now you're going to know what you can and can't do. Yeah, there's no doubt. And, it, I mean, playing quarterback in this league, for, for the most part, I mean – Starts with making plays, moving the chains, getting points on the board, getting the ball to playmakers. And if you don't have that aggressive mindset to let it rip every time you think something's there, um, you're not going to play in this league very long. And um, the way you do that and learn that is practice. I mean, you don't want someone who just goes out there recklessly and is just like, all right, I'm going to be aggressive. I and mean, if you do that, you're you're going to turn it over and you're going to give your team no chance to win. Mm-hmm. Um, but you got to know what you can get away with and what what you can't. And you learn that in practice. If if you aren't going to sling it in practice, you definitely aren't in the games. And then it becomes very hard to make plays. So, I mean, yeah, we don't, we don't want interceptions. Yeah, I mean, I wish Brock had zero. I didn't realize yeah. he had 10, but, you know, they tell me. so, And you want him to stop those, but I also don't want him to go out there and his goal of the day is to not get interceptions so the people who are counting the stats don't say anything. I mean, that's how you don't get better. I mean, you go to practice to work at things. Remember when we first got Richard Sherman here his first year and he went up and bumped um, Marquise Goodwin, an Olympic sprinter, and he didn't get his hand on him at the line, and Marquise ran by him. And it was his first day, and all the reporters are saying he can't do it anymore because um, of that. And, I mean, the, the normal insecure guy then is, isn't is going to work his craft for the rest of camp because he doesn't want people mm-hmm. saying that. And then and how do you get better at bump? Um, that's what we're here at practice for is to do things, to be aggressive, and to learn from them. And the um, last thing you want to do is start worrying about stats. Yeah. How tough is that transition for quarterbacks from college to the pro to be able to trust what what's supposed to be there? Because in college, a lot of guys are just open and they're just better than the guys right. that are guarding them. So the guys are going to be open. NFL, you got to throw it to a spot and and just you, you got to trust that your guys going to be there. But how tough is that for college guys to get used to that? Where it's it's I would imagine completely different. Well, yeah. I mean, I, first of all, I think. I'm a little biased, but I think it's the hardest position in sports. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you got to have just such elite talent to be able to do that stuff. But once you do that, or that's, once you have that stuff, it gives you a chance in the NFL, but everything else is where it starts. And to be able to sit there and in a pocket with this pass rush um, that you get in the league day in and day out, or week in and week out, that you don't get in college. I mean, in college, they barely even rush. Um, they kind of, the, it goes so fast, it's almost like a fast break, and guys just stand straight up. But in this league, they're going to come hit you, and those windows are going to be um, tight. The coverages are going to be tight. Um, you're not going to always know what you're going against, and you're going to have to figure things out by anticipating, by studying, being able to react, have a clear mind, have your um, blood pressure low, your heart rate low, um, so you can just react in these instances because you get in that pocket. And it is as tough as it gets. And that's why it's not just about college to the NFL. It's just about preparing. It's about being able to anticipate and not guess and being able to react. And um, the only way you can do that is get thrown in there. Um, you got to always have practice the right way, and you got to always study the right way. But it's going to come with experience, and hopefully you get better as it goes. But some people get worse as it goes. You, you yeah. see some guys come in for a game, and they do all right. You see a backup guy come in, and the more they play, the more scars they start to get. And they stop ripping it as much, and I've had those guys too. It's, it's a tough sport, and you got to be able to clear your mind after each game and start it right back over.